have to pull the sails out, it's too big. What do you mean the window fell off? You feel powerless a little bit, like you're a tiny creature and you have the mother nature and 40 tons of ships that depends on you. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Previously on Expedition Drenched, we sail from Namotu Islands to Port Denaro and Fiji to pick up our special guest. Oh my god, so The previous owner of Sylvia. At the same time, we say a see you soon to our lovely Aitor. And then we get ready to leave Fiji to our new destination, Vanuatu. This morning I woke up and I was super inspired and I wanted to film as much as possible try to show you how it is to be sailing. But then during a sail, nothing really happens, honestly. Like, you can't really do a lot of things because it's super rolly. Even if you're not really tired, you're going to lay in bed often. Or some people feel sick and they will just be laying or trying to sleep. So let's have a look what's happening now, for example. What are you doing, Jordan? I'm making early lunch because it's my cooking day. Oh, I was sleeping. So I'm just making lunch now and then I'll be sitting here when we wake up. They can have it for breakfast or they can have it for lunch. When we are sailing, people are living in different time zones, right? Oh yeah. Usually there's not like three or four people up. Today is kind of an anomaly. It's actually the most people I've ever seen up. And you, Nerea, how is everything going? I'm holding on, like holding on to a chair, to a steering wheel into my stomach. I feel seasick, I sleep and I'm okay, mm -hmm. but it's not happening. I have seasick makes even my skin. Let's have a look downstairs, but I guess all the people will be sleeping and nothing very exciting is happening at the moment. Ugh. As you can see, it has been very rolly. It's quite a mess. And yeah, I think everybody's sleeping. Your breakfast or your lunch? Or brunch. Or brunch, yeah. Uh, no, time isn't real. <laughs> I'm putting on some trace the lines. Is it easy to do this while sailing? A little bit harder. I like it. You pick all the different colours and you have all your little strategies in your head. It's good. Line and the alarm. So when the fish goes, would you call yourself an experienced fisherman? Every fisherman would say yes. We are the worst fishermen that ever was in this sea, man. We're gonna have to pull the sails out, it's too big. What's happening with the land? We catch the fish. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it is? It looked a bit blue, but I'm not sure. I, I guess Will probably wants to wake up. Back in the open ocean. 
fashion and I'm very happy. I'm a happy person these days because I had a big struggle with my neck the last days because I felt like I missed a lot of things I think just because I was laying down in bed. And I always realize whenever there's something wrong and when you're like limited in doing things how grateful we actually need to be for life and that we don't need to take it for granted that we are just healthy and that everything is working fine and that we are happy people so what I like about sailing is I like that it makes you patient like you are kind of at the mercy of the wind and you'll get there when you get there there's not really too much you can do about it you just need to sit relax and find a way to spend the time What are you doing? Just in the sails. These rollers determine the shape of the sail. So the further you put them forward, the more they trim for downwind. So you gotta stay feet in one spot. Your maximum angle. <laughs> what do you mean the window fell off? So basically that day we were leaning really hard. Suddenly the lean changed. I fell so hard against the door. that the whole window popped out and I end up with the window on my hands. Some action during the sail. Yeah, the rain went flying. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, I really, I really was flying. Yeah, we just took it off, I took out the old glue, cleaned it up from the window, scratched it a little bit on the window so it had something to bond to. Put a bead of the of uh, the silicon around the edge, and then as we pressed it in, pressed it in with some screws to hold it there. Good job! Yeah. Well done. Fijian people are super, super, super friendly. So I went on a little walk in Suva and this guy, he was just like, everybody's each other's friends. In Fiji, everyone is, everyone here is welcoming. You know, yeah. everyone here is helping. And then if someone has a stress, we help each other. Or yesterday I went on a big mission with Emily. Ask a taxi driver to help us the whole day. His name was Croy. Croy, the taxi driver that helped us with the food provisioning. A big guy, very tall, very strong, he used to be a professional rugby player. He was just joking around with us all day and carrying our stuff. I just felt like we had a, a dad with us, like he was making dad jokes all the time. And Troy, I hope you're watching it and warm hellos from the open oceans. So I felt like every time I asked someone in Fiji about something, they would really give me a full answer, you know, and they would really want to help as much as, you, like, you know, even you would yeah. be like, okay. Like drawing you a map and like writing stuff down and like, yeah. yeah. A few months ago I was in a coral workshop with some locals that were working there, they were, they were working at the resort. Every day singing, making jokes, laughing, I don't know, they have such a positivity and like really good attitude towards life. Six knots of wind. We're flying. I'm flying. 10.8, 10.9, 11. Ah. We're smashing records. I mean, we're going in the wrong direction. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to steer. It's not that easy. It's pretty hard. 
we just <laughs> hit a new record. How fast are we going, Maria? 11.3. Yeah. So we just checked the radar and there's, we're sailing through a, a mini squall, just a baby squall. But we got winds up to like 25 knots. You feel powerless a little bit, like you're a tiny creature and you have the mother nature and 40 tons of ships. That depends on you. Third of the Genoa, and now we're taking in third of the main two. Down below, and uh, I'm pretty sure we caught a couple feet of, of air because it was just like, whoa, boom. A couple things broke, it's cool, as they do. But um, I ran upstairs, and the girls seemed a little bit stressed because it's getting a little squally out here. Got a new supposed uh, speed record on Sylvia of 12.3. That's exciting. And that's with half sail up. We are absolutely flying, and there's gusts up to about 30 knots. And yeah, we are on a hard, hard lean. And you can just feel the whole boat shaking. It's pretty cool and scary at the same time. Join us next time as we continue our sail to Vanuatu. It is perhaps the most glorious morning that's ever been had on Sofia. As some of the crew get spoiled by Jordan. Oh. So good that we're going off course. <laughs> as we always find a way to entertain ourselves. Okay, so what are the rules of the game? Yeah. <laughs> and as we finally arrive in beautiful Vanuatu. What are you doing, Savan? Watching Dredge while well, being with Dredge. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying it's good because then you don't need to talk to anyone about what they've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watch all the episodes and then you don't have to. Okay. What are you? If you guys are having fun. I cannot see you. What are you? <laughs> You're on the couch. Here. Ah, oh, look, it's yeah. people here. Yeah, it's people. <laughs> Show me your face. Hello. Hello. So. The... We learned how to steer from the outside today, just uh, looking, uh, looking up to the waves, like two little string from one of the, how do you call that, metal thing that goes into the mast. What? Metal thing? The, uh, the wiring, I don't know. Um, you know? Manly man problems. <laughs> Oh, I have an idea, I have an idea, princess. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Are you? I'm a little stuck. There you yeah, go. I'm free. Fluff that hair up. It's embarrassing. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Fluff it. Yeah, it's better. <laughs>